매년 9월 뉴욕의 전자제품 매장 앞은 새로 출시된 스마트폰을 기다리는 사람들로 북적입니다. I'm a huge Apple fanboy and I own one of every single iPhone and I'm just super super excited to be here. And we're going to pick up for pre-order. So, we came early. <웃음> 새로운 스마트폰의 탄생은 많은 사람들이 손꼽아 기다리는 기쁘고 설레는 순간입니다. 하지만 모두에게 그런 건 아닙니다. Um, I have an iPhone. I bought it before I knew about the cobalt problem. It needs upgrade. I'm not buying another Apple product until they solve the problem. If I have to go back to a dial rotary phone, that's going to be the case. 테렌스 씨는 30년 경력의 인권 변호사입니다. 4년 전 콩고 민주공화국에 다녀온 그는 광산에서 일하는 아이들을 만난 뒤 새로운 소송을 시작했습니다. 그간 숱한 노동 착취 사건을 다뤄왔지만 그는 콩고 민주공화국의 광산이 가장 참혹한 곳이었다고 말합니다. These are typical wounds. His leg was smashed, and it's healed badly because the medical care that is available. Congo Democratic Republic of Congo, where cobalt is found, a lot of children were killed. He was the only one to be charged with cobalt smuggling. He woke up in a hospital. After the mine that he was in collapsed, he's the only kid. Five others died. He's the only kid who lived, and they had already amputated his leg when he woke up. Uh, the very first person I interviewed was the mother of John Doe One, who was killed in a mining accident. Uh, he was 15 when he was killed, and he'd been working since age nine, so that was six years. When she finished the interview, she told me that. She looked me in the eyes and said, "You have to help us. They're killing our children like dogs." Every time I say that, I get choked up. It is just that's when I decided I am going to do this case and I'm going to win this case. Terence 변호사는 콩고의 코발트를 사용한 미국 기업들에게 미국법에 따라 아동 노동의 책임을 묻고자 합니다. Think about how they got hurt. These kids are working in cobalt mines, mining cobalt that is used by the richest companies in the world, trillion dollar companies, Apple, Tesla, Google, Microsoft, and Dell. Under our law, if they have any kind of contractual relationship or ongoing business relationship with the mining companies that are using trafficked or forced child labor, then they too are responsible. Say Tesla or Apple, they are benefiting from that forced labor of the children because they're getting the cobalt cheaper. And they're getting a continuous source of cheap cobalt because of the exploitation of the children that are the miners of that cobalt. 